Okay, so um, let's get started. So the focus today, uh, like I said, um, inheritance, class inheritance, polymorphic behavior of classes, and aspect of interfaces. Um, an additional uh, area we can talk about is uh, abstract classes and what they are and what they may look and feel like. Okay, so I'm just starting brand new uh, application here. Uh, we'll name it uh, inheritance demo today. Okay, and my location will be somewhere here. Again, I'll switch to main app, application class that will generate for me, and we can start talking. Well, so here's something I thought uh, could be useful. And it's sort of like a classic example where uh, things begin to um, uh, emerge as um, in this area of inheritance and uh, generalization of uh, different subjects. Um, the, uh, the topics of common behaviors and common data between different parts of uh, our, our, our design and that of course includes classes uh, with the common behavior. So here it is, um, shape, if you can say shape, and I want to create an array of shapes, right? So I know that in general shape can be useful in many different areas. For instance, shape could be used in manufacturing, right? So if I have like some sort of like a uh, metal sheeting and I can uh, do, uh, you know, uh, punch out, I, know, I don't know, some sort of uh, uh, washers or, or simply, you know, circles or rectangles out of that uh, thing. I could use shapes in manufacturing, obviously. Um, and shapes could be, you know, well-known shapes or just uh, custom-defined uh, shapes such as polygons of some sort. Shape can also be used to determine uh, the area of shape and could help uh, to calculate the weight of an object. Uh, shape could obviously be useful in drawing, right? So I could use shapes in drawing. I could draw circles, I could draw triangles and rectangles and polygons. And, you know, shape could be uh, ranging from a single point, right? So a single point in geometry, if you think about uh, it, has like the area of point, a single point on, on the plane, is zero because it, ha it is basically has no area. In reality, um, if you use your graphics card and uh, graphics uh, 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 library, such as uh, uh, Direct3D or OpenGL, uh, if you try to draw points, the, the, the graphics card will actually give you area. So the point will actually occupy a few pixels. So there's a little bit of cheating in that area. However, if at the same time you try to create a tr uh, triangle, for example, with all uh, vertices of the triangle in the same location with the same coordinates, you actually won't see it. It will be considered generic de degenerate uh, primitive, and we won't see it. So anyway, uh, this you know the whole thing could range from a single point to to a segment, like a like piece of line on you know drawn on screen or full drawn shapes, and so forth and so forth. So shape overall is an incredibly useful idea. And uh, uh, let's, let's try, I don't know, we could try a manufacturing example or maybe drawing, I don't know. Drawing would be uh, perhaps uh, easier to, to talk about maybe. So we can say drawing uh, equals new 
uh, new shape and uh, we can create uh, I don't know like maybe six seven eight whatever whatever the number of shape is seven shapes all right so we create an array of shapes obviously shape needs to be defined somehow let's just not even talk about that aspect just yet then what I'd like to do is I'd like to say okay here's the drawing right and I have you know uh, the drawings range from drawing zero to draw. Uh, let, let me just kind of go through the whole array. One, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Okay. So these are all uh, elements in my array of shape uh, of, of of these shapes. So again, there could be circles, triangles, rectangles, whatever shape shapes are available in this application I could use these like uh, seven slots to um, assign particular object to each single one of them and then you know uh, make something useful with it so perhaps this is what I could do new circle and suppose that circle uh, takes a uh, radius as a uh, uh, as the uh, uh, parameter for the constructor. So, I don't know, area could be 5. Uh, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, the radius could be 5. Another element here, uh, maybe another circle, and we'll just, you know, make it look like uh, uh, a circle with radius of 10. Now, 10 units of something, you know, could be inches, centimeters, uh, miles, uh, you know, uh, who knows, but perhaps this makes some sense from the application standpoint. Okay, maybe another circle someplace here, right? A new circle, uh, we'll say 15 for the sake of the difference. All right? So supposedly I also have a rectangle. And the rectangle constructor, another type of object, uh, takes uh, maybe a, a height and width, right? So all right angles, just a couple of these uh, height and width. Uh, we'll say, I don't know, 20 and 30, right? So we'll just uh, add some more rectangles to our drawing. So uh, essentially, in my view here so far, uh, the uh, the drawing is being shaped by the presence of circles and rectangles, which I create, right? I still need to describe what they are. I need to create them. But, you know, I'm create, creating them as brand new, and they take some parameters. So let's do some uh, different, different uh, you know, uh, uh, height and, heights and width for our rectangles. Uh, and that should be, uh, you know, perhaps a, a good, good start. Okay, so whatever happens, you know, obviously for the drawing, I, I, I might suspect that uh, I also need some, some, uh, some system of positioning. If I really want to draw those things, uh, I may have to position my primitives uh, on some plane uh, or even in space and 3D space. I need to position those things somehow. Uh, in that case, I also need to add some, some sort of uh, system of coordinates here. But I will just skip this part for now. Just say that let's focus on those drawing primitives. Um, somehow, perhaps the drawing uh, will know where to position them. For now, let's focus on individual objects individual circles, individual rectangles, and see what behavior w should be uh, required of those.